We all know that Google Nano Banana is insanely good at image editing. You can create any kind of content from a single image or blend several images to create a unique design. However, a new competitor of Nano Banana has arrived in the market, giving tough competition to Nano Banana, sometimes even surpassing it. I am talking about Seed Ream 4, and in this video, I will compare them with some real examples. So, let's dive in. Okay, to compare both of them, I will use the same images and the same prompt. I have already collected them. You will get all the prompts I will use in this video in the description. Okay, first of all, let's start with a single character. I will create a 3D collectible figurine with this character. Let's try with Nano Banana. You can access Nano Banana in various ways. This time, I am using Gemini. After coming to Gemini, select Nano Banana from here and then upload the image. Once the image is uploaded, we have to enter the prompt. I am entering a ready prompt. After entering the prompt, hit the send button and then wait for some time. And here it is, the image is ready. And look at the quality of the image. Nano Banana perfectly turns our character into a 3D collectible figurine. I love the image. Now let's create the same image with the same reference and prompt using Seedream 4. There are several ways to access Seedream 4. I will use the Abacus AI Chat LLM team. This is a multimodal hub where you can access all the popular LLM models, image generators, video generators, and others. I will put the link in the description. Once you are on this page, create an account. Once you are logged in, your interface will be like this. Here, at the top, you will find all the LLM models. However, as we want to generate images, the LLM is not important. To access the image generator, click the image button located under the prompt box. The image generation pop-up will appear. First of all, we have to select the image generation model. Here, you will find more than 10 popular image generation models, including Flux, Seedream, GPT Image, Midjourney, and others, all under one platform. I am selecting the Seedream 4 model. After selecting the image generation model, we have to select the number of images we want to generate. After that, upload the reference image. I am uploading the same reference image we used in Nano Banana. After uploading the image, we have to enter the text prompt. I am entering the same prompt. Next, set the image size. Here, you will find a bunch of options. Select which one you need. In the end, you can enter a custom seed. I want a random seed, so I am leaving it blank. Okay, we are done. Now, to generate the image, hit the generate button and then wait for some time. And here it is, our images are ready. And look at the quality, this is really amazing. The image is clear and crisp. The detailing is top notch. Honestly speaking, I love this result. Here you can see the results side by side. Let me know your thoughts. Okay, now let's try the second example. This time, I will try the virtual try on feature. Imagine I want to try this dress on this character and this bag in her hand. First of all, let's try Google Nano Banana. I am clicking on the image button. Once the image generation pop-up appears, select Nano Banana as the image generation model. Yes, you can also access Nano Banana on the chat LLM team. Okay, now upload the images. Once the images are uploaded, I will enter the prompt. After entering the prompt, hit the generate button and then wait for some time. And here it is, the images are ready. Nano Banana really did a great job. It perfectly put the dress on the character and the bag is also in her hand. In one word, this is a perfect virtual try-on example. Now let's try with Seedream 4. After selecting Seedream 4 as the image generation model, I am uploading the images. Once the images are uploaded, I am entering the same prompt I used for Nano Banana. Now you can set the aspect ratio and other settings. Once you are done, hit the generate button. After waiting for some time, I got these results. Seedream also did a great job. The product placement is perfect. However, the light and color grading are better in Seedream. Another positive side of Seedream is that you can set the aspect ratio of the image, while Nano Banana generates the image as per the first reference image. Okay, now let's create the third image. This time, I will create a trendy image at the moment, giant-sized versions of people or pets. I will use this image as the reference. 
So, after coming to the image generation interface, select the image generation model and then the number of images. Now, upload the reference image. Once the image is uploaded, enter the prompt and then set all other settings. Once done, hit the generate button. And here it is, Google Nano Banana creates this image for us. Again, Nano Banana did a great job. This is the same character. The scale is perfect. The lighting matches are perfect. This is really a good result. Now I will try to generate the same image using Seedream. After uploading the reference image and prompt, set all other settings and then hit the generate button. And look at the resulting images. They are insane. You may notice some inconsistencies in the character, but it creates a more creative result. After analyzing and creating several images, I found that Google's Nano Banana can generate more hyper-realistic details. Think professional photography quality. Meanwhile, Seedream 4.0 from ByteDance brings insane creativity and artistic flair. So, which one should you choose? If you want more realistic images, then go with Nano Banana, and if you need more creative images, use Seedream. However, instead of choosing between quality and imagination, you can use both platforms on the Chat LLM team. You can use both AI models for only $10 per month. The link will be in the description. All right, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear your opinion about Video Hypernatural AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!